That was six of the 12 movements Tai Chi for Arthritis program. Tai Chi is a my body exercise originated from ancient China. There's a lot of myth about Tai Chi. Many people think it is complex, difficult to learn, mysterious and beautiful. Professor Callahan from University of North Carolina has done a study for Tai Chi and arthritis. It was the biggest study of its kind with 354 people and she teach them, she didn't teach them, the instructors teach them the 12 movements Tai Chi for arthritis. In eight weeks, not only the Tai Chi group has learned the 12 movement Tai Chi for arthritis program, they also gain significant benefit in less pain in arthritis. They can do more of their daily activities and they have better balance. And what's really important, they feel better about themselves. So that is comparing with the other group that's randomly assigned who didn't do Tai Chi. So it just show the set was easy to learn, not complex, and uh, it's really quick to give benefit. I learned Tai Chi for my arthritis 45 years ago. Back to the time when I was 10 months old, my parents left me in a small Chinese village with my grandmother and my aunt. The grandmother was later classified as landlord and uh, our family became the enemy of the people and I lived a pretty miserable childhood. By the time I reached 10 years old, that was around the time the Great Famine came and uh, we were struggling for years just to survive. And chronic malnutrition from all these years of starvation gave me arthritis. I was really lucky. I escaped China and came to this beautiful country, Australia. I won a scholarship to study medicine. By the time I graduated, when I became a doctor, just to carry that doctor's little medical bag was a challenge. My arthritis was so bad that I knew I'm not going to be able to do what I want to do in future. I will be looking at joint replacements, medications, and probably by 40, I could be a cripple. So I didn't want that. I want to fight against that. And that is the reason I took up Tai Chi in the hope of improving arthritis. The myth was right. It was quite challenging to learn Tai Chi. The ones I learned were complex. And um, it took a long time, around three years, before I really feel the benefit that my arthritis is getting better. And then together, like a package, I also have so many other aspects of my health improve. For example, my immunity was shattered from the year of uh, malnutrition. And when I was doctoring, I would see a patient and um, I will get the virus and um, like an upper respiratory tract infection, then I will be sick for two, three weeks. And then I recover from that and a week later I caught another virus. As I get better, gradually, gradually, I have less of these infections. Uh, in fact, once in a while, I feel I got something from my patients or somewhere that I get a little temperature, I feel unwell, running nose or throat, and I do a little bit more Tai Chi, and next morning I wake up, I'm fully recover. 
So it's, it's really good for me. I get a lot more than I bargained for. I went to find better way to manage my arthritis and uh, ended up my health, my life being transformed. So something this good you have to share and I develop a burning desire to share with my friends, my patients, as many people as possible. But I know to make it sort of reaching many people, Tai Chi need to be easier to learn, bring the benefit much quicker and enjoyable. So we worked really hard. One of my uh, tang and also Tai Chi was so enjoyable. Um, I learned different forms, different style of Tai Chi. I want to understand the depth and the width of Tai Chi. So when you truly understand something, you can find out how it works and then we can find ways to make it much shorter, like the 12 movement Tai Chi for arthritis, and much e quicker to bring benefits. And fortunately, many of my medical colleagues, especially the physical therapists, the occupational therapists, the doctors, the nurses, and a lot of research workers come, have shared the same vision as me, and we work together, and we found that no matter what style, what form of Tai Chi, the thing that makes Tai Chi work so well for health is a set of principles. This principle, going back to how Tai Chi was created, it was created based on the law of nature, especially the law of nature of human being. So, like nature, it, it is sort of simple, but it has so much depth to keep people like me to study Tai Chi for 45 years and, and still finding interest and passion in it. However, once you understand the principle and incorporate the principle into the Tai Chi, no matter what Tai Chi, and even very short ones, like 12 movements will bring you the Tai Chi benefit and the enjoyment. The principles, for example, like the Tai Chi movement are slow, smooth. The slowness allow us to integrate our body and mind in another way, to be mindful and to be at the presence. And the smoothness bring the sense of serenity into us. And other principles like standing upright seems to be simple, but standing upright and supple has many health benefits. First of all, when you are tired or not happy, we often tend to do this. But when you just Staying up, supply, not tense. Allow your joints to be open. In this posture, most people almost instantaneously will feel better. But when you stand up like this, you have more space for the lung to grow. And um, the, you activate the deep stabilizer in the spine and make your spine stronger, make your body stronger from inside. As well as that, um, in terms of the mind, study has shown one is standing upright, moving in open, confident kind of manner. Whatever you chose to do, you have 20% more chance of success. Also, moving in large movements, upright posture, your creativity increased by 20%. That's amazing. 
Tai Chi puts a lot of emphasis on the balance. Again, it's the nature. Balance, bright and dark, day and night. And so our balance improve and that help us to reduce force, especially when people get older. In fact, Tai Chi is the one of the two only exercises that has been proven by lots of study that is effective at preventing older people from falling. And that is why um, there are many other studies show the Tai Chi for Arthritis program being effective for many other health benefits, especially in reducing force for older people. And that's why the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the National Council for of Aging, has support and recommend the Tai Chi for Arthritis for force prevention. So other principles uh, like internal training to grow that serenity, that tranquility, or uh, facilitate mindfulness. That is so needed in our modern fast-paced life. Tai Chi is created based on nature. It is human nature for us to be fast and slow. Fast for quick action, slow for regeneration, recovery, and to be thinking very quickly and also to be mindful, to think ser in serenity. Uh, that's the balance that we are made to. Just like we are made to survive with, for example, when you're hungry, food tastes better. When we are thirsty, water is sweeter. So in the modern life, it's so fast, so unnatural that Tai Chi bring us back to nature so we have the slow phase to regenerate, to restore. And that would be really enjoyable because our body and our mind crave for it, like craving for water when we're thirsty. However, it takes a while to get used to it and that is why Tai Chi can be so enjoyable and so beneficial. And to prove the things we find, we also participate in many research study. Um, and last 15 years, there's about more than 500 medical studies that has shown Tai Chi improve so many aspects of health, relaxation, fall prevention, um, preventing diabetes and uh, cardiovascular disease and so on. Those studies, almost all of them, use sh smaller, shorter Tai Chi forms and they bring benefit relatively quickly. There are now many Tai Chi teachers and institutions who utilize shorter health oriented Tai Chi sets, teaching it in a learner-friendly way so it's more enjoyable. And we especially wanted to make Tai Chi accessible to anybody. So I work with my medical colleagues to adapt Tai Chi for almost people with any disability. Um, for example, my friend Richard, who got B Guillaume Ballet syndrome, which was an a unusual disease that affected the neural system, and he was lying in the intensive care bed, hardly able to move any part of his body, and he visualized Tai Chi for rehabilitation in his mind, and gradually that helped to bring him back to health. So Tai Chi can be accessible, anybody can learn Tai Chi, and more importantly, enjoy it. 
And before I go, I want to continue sharing my Tai Chi from where I stop to something more vigorous, the, the classical chain style that is more vigorous. And just to show you that at age of 72, after having arthritis for 59 years, that I can still get stronger, fitter, and uh, more flexible. So anyone can learn Tai Chi, and you will get the enjoyment and the health benefit more than the effort and time you put into it. But you don't have to do the vigorous Tai Chi unless you are as devoted and want to spend a lot of effort doing what I did. This is just to show you how much I enjoyed the Tai Chi and the freedom it gave me even as I grow older.